Okay. So today we'll be studying the ch chapter chapter from our science textbook that is called life processes. So we have already done with our um, three classes, and this is our fourth class. So uh, tell me, what is this? What you can uh, you know make an idea of it? Make an idea of it. Activity, Maybe chemical. Yes. Act activity, ma'am. Yes, there's an activity going on. But do you have any idea, like what exactly is this? Ma'am, uh, that ink will spread uh, in water easy, uh, Miss. Uh, easily. Yes, ma'am. So, what is that basically called? Ma'am, solution. Yes, solvent and solute. Okay, but what is this process called? Has anyone any idea about it? Have you heard about diffusion? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma oh, don't you think this is a diffusion? Yes, ma'am. See, this is yes, higher concentration. This is lower concentration and it mixes up. See? What? Yes, ma'am. So I'll just show you for a clear, your clear, better idea. Uh, should I show you something? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You like seeing videos, all of you? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, ma'am.
Diffusion occurs when particles, gases, or dissolved substances are mobile or free to move as they spread from where they are in high concentration to the region where they are in low concentration throughout the concentration gradient. The concentration gradient is an environment in which particles are distributed in different concentrations, keeping high concentration region on one side and low concentration on the other side. In the human body, the blood takes oxygen using this simple mode of passive transport in which oxygen moves from alveolar air spaces in which it happens to be in higher concentration to the blood where it is used to be in lower concentration. It can also be conceived as the mode of transport in which substances move from region of abundance to the region of demand where their concentration is lower. Cells use a bit different yet sophisticated kind of diffusion. They use some carrier proteins to take in the required substance of nutrients and since this mode involves facilitation of these proteins to allow these substances inside the cell through the membrane. This kind of diffusion is called facilitated diffusion. An important example is that of blood. Oxygen binds with red blood cells in the bloodstream through facilitated diffusion which gives us oxygenated blood. Is, did everyone understand what is actually and here it, there was an example also the perfume one. Uh, did you hear that when see if you go to a temple and uh, just a minute Tom can you hear, see this hello yes ma'am yes yes ma'am Yes. yes, yes. When you go to a temple yes, and you just, you know, uh, the instinct sticks, there you just burn it and you just take it around the temple. Can you smell these, you know, the fragrance of the instinct sticks? Yes, ma'am. Yes, so ma why yes, that happens? Because it's yes, mixed up in the air, right? It gets yes, mixed up yes, in the air and then you get to smell yes, it, right? Yes, so that is nothing yes, but diffusion. So mixing in the environment is nothing but diffusion. Okay? Understood? Yes, now, yes, if you uh, yes, if you're painting, if you're painting, if you're painting red color, okay, you just uh, take the brush and you know put it in the water which is next to you know you take it for painting and all the water, right? Yes, so you just put it in that uh, uh, you you put that brush your red color brush in that thing the like the brush which has red color and the whole water becomes red, right? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. So what is that yes, called? What is that called? De diffusion. Diffusion. Okay. So the color which you have is a, is a higher concentration. Okay. Because it has more uh, color. So this has more color. This drop has a more color, right? More. Yes, ma'am. And so it will be called higher concentration. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And yes, ma this has less color. So it will be called lower concentration. Okay, yes, that's the reason this color, when it gets mixed up, mixed up in this lower concentration region, that is water, it is called diffusion. Okay, diffusion. it's nothing but yes, mixing up. Yes, okay, whether yes, it's in this yes, form or yes, air form. So, I've given you one example in uh, liquid form and an example in air form, that uh, scented thing. Even if when you spray a perfume and all, you go outside, right? Sometimes and you spray perfume on yourself. And the moment you get uh, around your friends, you they can smell your perfume, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so what is that yes, called? Yes, ma'am. Diffusion. Diffusion. Very yes. nice. Very good. I'll show you one more video. You want to see one more video on diffusion or you are done with it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Want to see or uh, yes, want to see? Yes, ma'am. We want to see. No, no, no. Next. Uh, just I'll just show one biological like cell diffusion. Okay, then we'll move next. Yes, ma'am. So this is quite important. So we can. S if we are given this image and asked what exactly this is. I'm sure your answer will be a cell. See, no. I have taught you diffusion in a simple thing. Okay. Now this diffusion in some is something with the cell. And cell you have studied it, mentioned it, right? Cell wall, yes, nucleus, and all cytoplasma, yes, mitochondria, yes, Golgi apparatus. You have studied yes, everything. Yes, 
I'm hoping that you remember everything from ninth standard, and then I'm showing you this. Okay, we'll study further also yes, with this, but just see how things out uh, things work out for diffusion with cell. Okay. Okay, ma'am. This we need to study every component present within, and not only within. We even need to study the covering, that is, this part in detail. Now, can you tell me what exactly is this named as? That's right. It's called the cell membrane or the plasma membrane. In our previous video, we have learned that the cell membrane is selectively permeable in nature. That is, it only allows specific materials to enter and leave the cell. Any guesses? What is the plasma membrane made up of? The plasma membrane is made up of lipids and proteins, and also has some carbohydrate chains. There are two. Is everyone remembering what they had studied in ninth standard? The fundamental yes, of life. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma okay, I hope you are understanding everybody. Okay, and if you don't understand, yes, please tell me. Okay, please do not get afraid of saying okay, no, that you do not understand. Please, yes, if you are not understanding, yes, please. Okay, ma'am. Okay. 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 Really move in and out of the cell. Those include gases and water. Do you think these molecules need energy for traveling across the membrane? Let's take a simple example to understand what exactly happens in this case. We know what happens when a drop of ink is added to a glass of water. Who is playing the songs? Keep yourself keep yourself muted. Something is going on. You're enjoying your time. You want me to report to your principals? The single dark colored ink drop spreads when added to water, and the intense blue color fades slightly. If we see at the molecular level, then the ink molecules, which are compactly packed in the single drop, can you see how many? Molecules are there inside in a drop. The particles, yes, small small yeah. particles. Can you see how small yes, they are yes, in a, just a drop of? Yes, uh, okay. Get a chance of dispersing in a larger area when added to the water. This is nothing but the process of diffusion, and we know that this dispersal process does not require energy. The molecules just try to move freely in the space available. And as a result, diffusion occurs. The same story is seen when gas or water molecules travel across the membrane. Take carbon dioxide for example. When cells undergo cellular respiration, a lot of carbon dioxide accumulates in the cell. On the other hand, there is very little carbon dioxide present outside the cells. Hence, the carbon dioxide molecules move outside the cells. Now there is very little oxygen left after respiration in the cells, so the oxygen from outside the cells moves in through the plasma membrane to make up for the lost oxygen. That means carbon dioxide moves out and oxygen moves in. Oxygen in. Both the gases move from their area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration, and this diffusion process does not require energy. Diffusion is one of the processes by which transportation of several substances is carried out across the cell membrane. But it's not the only one process on which the cell relies. There are a few more methods that the cell adopts for transportation of substances. Let's have a look at these processes in the next video. So, uh, is energy required? Is energy no, required? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Required. No, right? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. No, ma'am. Do you understand this concept of cell? No, ma'am. When, yes. Uh, when there is more amount of uh, carbon dioxide in cell, and there is less amount of carbon dioxide outside the cell, it moves from higher concentration. That is, where is more carbon dioxide in the cell or outside cell? Tell me. Outside the cell. Wait. I'll just show you. Inside the cell, man. Just a minute, okay. So imagine that. Okay. Imagine this is a cell. 
okay yes ma'am cell and this is carbon dioxide wait i'll just thicken the border this is carbon dioxide see yes okay this is carbon yes, dioxide this is like two carbon dioxide inside okay yes ma'am and yes, ma uh, your carbon dioxide is very less see yes, and you see yes ma'am yes ma'am what happens where is carbon dioxide more inside the uh, cell okay so what yes, happens the concentration is yes, more over here see wherever the things are more there the concentration is more okay so here the concentration yes, is more and outside the concentration is less because there are less uh, carbon dioxide yes ma'am so what will happen this will go out okay yes, these carbon yes, dioxide molecules moves out will goes out outside okay out. where the less yes, are there okay? where less are there and what happens yes. i'll take blue as uh, oxygen okay now there are more blue molecules of uh, like more oxygen outside okay here can you see yes ma'am here there are more oxygen here there are molecules so here you have here inside the cell you have less hello okay inside the cell okay so what will happen now you tell me yes ma'am 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 yes ma'am
what are life processes nutrition transport respiration excretion reproduction metabolism and diffusion okay and now yes, we are coming to 6.2 nutrition now see here nutrition is nothing but these all thing rice pasta noodles bread then egg uh, sorry uh, potatoes Potato. okay these are nothing but carbohydrates and they give us energy to work okay you have to remember these things because it is quite useful in during digestion okay and proteins okay. is nothing but meat non veg you know veg. meat fish then eggs fish and some products of dairy products also are come under proteins okay then okay, if you see this oily okay, things like nuts and all then chocolate sugars these are fatty acids okay fatty and sugars these butter ghee like oil whatever you see in your home okay you have right you have rice chapati and all whole wheat grains so wheat comes under carbohydrates and when you see fruits and vegetables they come under fiber vitamins and minerals okay everyone okay, is well versed with it now and who was asking me about the body building you need to have proteins fiber vitamins and minerals in large amounts that is micronutrients and some amount of dairy products and a little amount of carbohydrates as you need energy and you have to be minimize or uh, you have to minimize your intake in fats and sugars okay this karan do you understand the bodybuilder yes, of the class <laughs> okay so this is done okay yes ma'am now uh, we'll uh, see a video on uh, we'll see something on nutrition okay now tell me uh, what one thing is miss missing in this nutrition one thing it's missing in the nutrition in this one thing is missing can anyone tell me it's very common it's very common something is missing here can anyone tell me what is missing the basic part of living I mean. being you cannot live without air food and water yes water. very good water so water is a necessary thing because 80% of a body is contains water 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 is everyone aware of it okay okay so everyone needs to consume at least 6 to 7 liters of water in your day Okay. okay is every does everyone consume so much of water yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes okay so now yes, we come to types of nutrition yes, okay now this there are two types yes, of nutrition that is yes, autotrophic nutrition and second is neutro uh, heterogeneic uh, heterotrophic nutrition okay nutrition. now what is autotrophic tell me what is autotrophic ma'am plants which prepare their own food are called autotrophic nutrition ma'am yes and heterotrophic ma'am which depends on another food depends on, which depends on the autotrophic are called heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophic yes very good so uh, please mute yourself and can you hear some disturbance from your side please there is some wind going on around you so autotrophic autotrophic nutrition is nothing but the orga organisms or uh, you know example like plants and bacteria also okay they you know they prepare their own food they prepare their own food and new heterotrophic nutrition they obtain or they eat other animals or plants to get energy of food understood like animals okay is yes, everyone what is the with it yes ma'am what is the meaning of organic and uh, inorganic organic uh, from inorganic substances inorganic mangan varri hai ha what happened yes, so what is meant by organic and yes i will tell you but who said something to you the yes, soil what did he say Mangan. Uh, what do you mean by that? 
ma'am baby of monkey why did you say that uh, sohel why did you say that or you know no the meaning of inorganic substances so hell can you answer me ma'am i didn't say that then who said that i didn't know ma'am see it's really very important that we respect each other okay understood see never call such things to anyone is everyone understanding yes ma'am so do not you know never uh, call uh, anyone uh, monkey or anything it really you know you should respect yourself uh, others also see in organic substances are the you know chemicals that have no mm. carbon okay they do, do not contain any carbon in organic okay like example you know hydrogen then the metal the vitamin yeah. all <laughs> what happened <laughs> please mute yourself please mute yourself please mute yourself please mute yourself so uh, did you get who asked me the inorganic substance did you get what i said which has no carbon in organic substance who asked me did you get what i said yes ma'am okay fine so um now we have now specification see autotrophic nutrition is just one part heterotrophic nutrition you will find three more things okay like saprotrophic nutrition which you know um uh, you know they prepare their depend on the dead and decay things like here you will find then parasitic nutrition which are actually depend on other organisms without okay. uh, sometimes hurting them or with, without hurting them okay and holozoic nutrition is something you know mixed kind of thing that they have both okay they depend on others they eat uh, you know um, other animals and plants understood ma'am yes ma'am ma'am human beings are miss human beings of which ma'am in this three beings come under heterotrophic nutrition in that holozoic mm -hmm. nutrition okay okay ma'am okay so uh, what happens okay. with uh, plants they prepare their own food and that is called photosynthesis photosynthesis they take in yes, carbon dioxide and uh, sunlight with the help of chlorophyll and they prepare their own food and store it and what they give outside oxygen yes ma'am oh, ma yes ma'am ma'am that so uh, today only this to... much today for uh, ma just a minute uh. ma'am yes sapro uh, protic ma'am sapro uh, saprotrophic yes ha huh? ma'am uh, who depends upon the plants no ma'am that is called as saprotrophic yes nutrition. dead decay dead decay uh, okay dead uh, ma'am human being yes human being ma'am yes ma'am what do you mean by parasitic nutrition parasitic nutrition is something you know see leeches are there when leeches uh, you know leeches actually depend on blood okay their food is blood so what they do they sit on the skin of the human beings or any other animals and they suck the blood got it they suck the blood so you uh, so what is that they actually depend on other animals to survive like human beings and animals and round worm if you see it is present in the intestine so they, they depend for their living they depend on other organisms like human beings have you seen lich see we'll discuss more about these things in detail in next class okay 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 ma'am okay yes ma'am so this is just okay, a general idea which i've yes, given you we'll okay, go okay, in the next class okay ma'am okay ma'am okay, 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 bye ma'am wait okay ma'am i did not say bye <laughs>
<laughs> so uh, why are you so in a hurry or you want to go to play or you want to go somewhere out to roam yes ma'am we can go just to 3 minutes okay then you can go so uh, what happens this see till here we have come in this we'll go in detail tomorrow okay okay ma'am so anyone has okay, doubt till here no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no, ma no, ma sure diffusion and all no, ma Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma sure. Sure, right? Ma'am, what is homework? What is homework? Homework I don't have for today. Uh, you will get from other subjects. I gave you yes, only. Yes, ma'am. See, homework you will get from me only once in a week. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, bye.